Dun, 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 dun. Sad news strikes the empire of Shoveltopia, ladies and gentlemen. We fell in lava and lost all our gear, which means we have to start all over from scratch. And if we're going to start over from scratch, maybe it's time to consider moving closer to our neighbors. The villagers here in uh, DM James land. And there's a lot of advantages to this. You know, when we originally started this experiment, we wanted to not be too close to them because we didn't want our nonsense to uh, affect them in any way, shape, or form. Or, you know, we accidentally started fire. We didn't want, you know, we wanted to make sure we were ready before we started trade. But uh, now we're back, starting from square one. And since we're starting from square one, maybe it's a good time to uh, make friends. Now you might think, dude, you're right under that shadow. I mean, you're literally raining mobs. And yes, there, that is a concern, the fact that this giant shadow of doom is... Uh, right on top of our base. Looks like somebody has uh, left us a bed and built a thing. Is this a mob farm? No. What is this? Oh, somebody, somebody built a... Um, what should we call it? So I guess this is what's up here. I'm not sure why what's going on up here. But, uh, yeah, this is up here. So... If, um, unfortunately, once you're up here, you apparently can't get down. Okay, well, uh, you know, if you're going to build a bubble vader, you got to do uh, both ways. So let's see what's going on up here. Got a sign, some pumpkins, some cactus, a crafting bench, and a bed, and a door. Uh, is there a way down from here? I thought I saw stairs. I mean, it's a lot of work for whoever did this ridiculous thing. I'll give them that. Uh, unfortunately, there does not seem to be a way down. And the bubble vader only works if it goes one way. Both ways. Could have sworn I saw stairs. Maybe they removed the stairs for the bubble vader. The bubble vaders are great, but they have to go both ways. <laughs> and this one just goes up. Uh, so, yeah. How do you get down from here, dude? Whoever designed this. I guess maybe they weren't planning on coming down? Uh, I don't know. I mean, building a skyblock in reverse is an unusual experiment, but um, while we figure out how to get down from here, we can uh, take a look at the neighborhood. I think I think I can make it to that uh, river down there. All right, so there's a couple advantages to living here. First, we've got villagers we can trade in that Jet Silver has already leveled up, so that makes things a lot easier. Second, we uh, can, uh, you know, work with Jet Silver and DM James and Mar Hawkman together since we're so close to each other. So that's two reasons. Three, look, acacia. There's an acacia biome, a very teeny acacia biome. And as we know from our previous uh, playthroughs, right under acacia biomes are the caves that have moss and all those weird underground flowers in them which is something we eventually might want to work with. And there's a desert. Deserts are good because A, desert temples, B, sandstone, three, desert, C, desert villages, and four, terracotta. And I believe somebody said they wanted terracotta. And deserts often connect with badlands, and badlands, no, can't make it. Uh, maybe this one. 
Nope. The only way down. I do not see stairs coming up to this thing, dude. Um, so, yeah, it's a one-way trip. Can we make it to the water? Probably not. Do we have anything we really care about losing? No. No, we don't. All right. We. Oh, one more inch and we would have made it. Oh, well. Um, so, yeah. I mean, um, okay, dude. Well, I mean, uh, yeah, there was a stairs there. He must, he must, whoever built this must have taken the stairs down, figuring they could now get up there using the bubble vader. Uh, unfortunately, bubble vaders, uh, don't work like that. <laughs> you gotta have two. <laughs> You gotta have one bubble vader going one way and one bubble vader going the other way. All right, so building a new base directly under this un unintentional mob farm is probably a really bad idea. But what we're going to do, maybe, if we can get this working out, and that's why we wanted the uh, iron and the slime blocks, is to put droppers in here. Not droppers. What do they call those little funnel-shaped metal things? Droppers. Whatever. You know, the funnel-shaped metal things that feed stuff into chests. And then uh, we'll put chests under them to collect all the stuff that drops from the things that spawn here when they die. And then we were going to put uh, uh, dispensers to shoot arrows and fire charges. So things spawn here under the shadows. They're walking around. We're going to have dispensers with fire charges to set them on fire. And then they drop their, exp their gear. And you can just stand in here and collect the, the EP. So that was the plan. That's pretty sure how I'm, you know, it's not a 100% accurate mob farm. There are better ways to build mob farms. But, I mean, somebody went to all the trouble of leaving this here. What was I doing here? Why is this? Why, what was I doing with this? I don't remember why I built this. Like this. I'm sure I was doing something. But I don't remember what. And what's this? That's a bee's nest. Hi, bee. Oh, I'm sorry. Nope. Leave me alone. Oh, nope. 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 No. Oh, you do. Did. Nope. Oh, great. I got an angry bee outside my house. All right, so since we're going to move here, we might as well go back to um, Shovel Co. and transfer all our stuff to here. Right? Maybe? Sure, why not? I mean... There's no reason to stay there after the disaster of losing all our stuff. Might as well start over. What am I doing here? I'm not sure. I guess I could put the bedroom in here. Remove these little planters that I made. Or I could extend this farther. Yeah, that probably makes more sense, doesn't it?
give the uh, amethyst more room to grow. Where are those amethyst crystals? Did I take them back to the other place? I might have taken them back to Shovel Co. I forget, can you make um, paper walls in this version of Minecraft? No, no you can't, that's a modern Minecraft thing. It'd be, this would be a good place to like put a, a a paper wall, you know, sort of an Asian looking uh, thingy-mabob. What do you call them? You know what I mean. You know what I'm talking about. How's that look? Can't remember if we left any more of this uh, dark rock back at the old base, but. I wish there were, you know how we have planks, slabs that you can lay down on the ground? I wish there were like slabs that were, you know, you could use as walls. Because I don't want to waste a whole brick. It doesn't look awful. All right. Oh, that's where our copper is. And for some reason, I have blocks of dirt. Um, I don't have any bricks. Why don't I have any bricks? What the fuck is coming through my floor here? Something's glitching through the floor. All right, so we're going to run back to our old base and transfer everything here. We have one stair. Weird. Oh, it's nighttime. When did it get nighttime again? So how did we lose everything in lava? Uh, how do you usually always lose everything in lava? There's only one or two ways. We went through... The nether portal! But apparently the nether portal had been fermenangled. That's a word. Um, now, what I think happened is since I had a partial... Since there's more than one nether portal down there, and they're really close to each other... Uh, I think we... Uh, cross-pollinated, so to speak. Oh, what's this? This looks frightening. Also looks worthy of exploring, maybe. Uh... Cross-pollinated is probably not the word, but basically, uh, I stepped through a metal port nether portal, and I guess they got confused. Um... I guess we're never going this way again, but, you know, somebody else might want to need, need this passage. I mean, we built the roads. Well, so, so, yeah, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, stepped through nether portal. Thought we were going to end up where the uh, cave nether portal was, but instead we found a, a different unfinished nether portal that we stepped through and stepped right into lava. Now you would think that there is a built-in safety thing for nether portals so you don't step into lava, but apparently, nope, that is not a thing. Um, so yeah, stepped into lava, tried to get out of it, didn't work, lost all my stuff respawned, 
on my stuff. Oh, clay. Uh, oh, I should be using a shovel. I was wondering why I hadn't seen any clay. I don't know what I'm going to use from clay, but somebody said they wanted terracotta. Uh, what's this? That's just sand. Um, so, yep. So we're restarting from square one. If we're going to restart from square one, we might as well just start in a new location, right? I mean, I was rethinking of rebuilding Shovel Co. anyways, so... Might as well. Of course, we got it. We are living directly underneath that thing, so we can't build up. But we can build to the sides. But we just don't. We we don't want to be too too. Um, I don't know what's the word I'm looking for. Too obtrusive, right? We don't want like we don't want to ruin James's and Jet Silver's and Mar Hawkman's whatever they're doing there over there. We don't really want to mess with whatever construction, you know. I mean, obviously somebody's building something on that uh, ceiling thing. Uh, I don't know what, but uh, there's definitely some sort of shenanigans going on. Uh, so you see what? It, oh, look! I figured out how to make these things. I don't know. Um, I had a, a full between all the different weird pieces of gold armor we'd found. I had a full set. I don't know how to take this thing apart, though. I think you need an empty hand. Or I could just... Can I just break it? Oh, if you just break it, the whole thing just um, falls apart. Okay. Um, so we're going to pick up all our crap. And move it. Start with the important stuff. Is there anything in here I actually want? Uh, I need these gold bars. Uh, this diamond shovel. I don't really need these signs. I can come back for them on the next trip. I can always build another one of those. Uh, spyglass? We'll take the spyglass. Uh, what's over here? Oh, look! Copper! Uh, leave these here. Put on this iron helmet. Put on this chest plate. Put on these boots with thorns one. I don't know what thorns ones are, but I'm putting them on. Another sign. Definitely take that. What's in here? One book. Some weird shit. Nothing I really need right now. We can come back for that next trip. Anything in here I want to take right now? No, we can run those over next trip. Oh, look, copper. Ooh, look, coal. Uh, and some baked potatoes. Yum, my favorite. Anything in here I want? Oh, another thing I figured how to make. Stone slabs! I never knew how to make those. And there's some obsidian we got from trading before we died in lava. And anything in here we want? No. Yeah, I never knew how to make um, polished stone slabs before. Did we, oh, we didn't bring our silk touch. Oh, yes, we did. All right. Oh, but we can't farm these because... Oh, yeah, we can. Mm. 
All right, that's enough for this trip. Let's get out of here. Before this place blows up. Uh, well, despite the uh, disaster of losing all our stuff in the nether, we do have a sense of really what we want to do now, you know? Before, we were just sort of puttering around and farming and exploring and trying to find a village and generally micro, you know, Minecraft nonsense, but we didn't really have a plan, you know, other than try and convince the other players to buy our shovels, which is still our plan. But now, now we know exactly what we want to do. You know, we want to get iron, we want to get slime blocks, and we want to get fire chargers. So we can build a mob farm. An actually functioning mob farm from that ridiculous thing on, over there. So that everybody can come and just stand in there and soak up EP. That is the eventual goal. Uh, I don't know if it's a good primary goal. I mean, obviously our primary goal is replace all the shit we lost. But it's a good goal, you know. And I've never built a functioning mob farm before that I didn't cheat in. Ooh, mushrooms. I don't have any room. Of course... A huge chunk of that plan involves finding a slime block. Which means we either got to find a swamp biome, or we got to find a s slime chunk. Uh, we can build a farm here. Um, we could definitely, you know work on some kind of design for this place to look a little bit more hospitable. I have. Oh yeah, I do. I have torches. Um, nope. Speaking of mob farms. Or the opposite thing is we could light this all up. And then build a mob farm underneath this. Um, since the darkness is already there. And the house is already there. So there's two possible mob farms we could build out of this. Both. You know. Right now we want to light this up. Because we don't want to deal. With the. Uh, creepers. I mean, either way, we're going to have to flatten this out. So that gives us a use for all that dirt we have, I guess. Uh, a desert biome needs exploring. That uh, acacia biome needs a mine. Somewhere out there is a swamp and a badlands. I'm thinking that's a badlands right there, actually. See where the X is. I mean, the cross, my cross, my sand, I'm right there. That, that, that could be a Badlands. That looks like a Badlands. I mean, that's got that weird Badlands shape to that mountain. Maybe not. No, I think that's just King James. I think that's just James's house. Uh, anyway. So we've got some plans. But first, we got to start all over and replace everything we lost. Fun. Now we got to build a real bedroom and a real storeroom.
entire box of copper. I mean, we can definitely extend all this. We go right into this little teeny desert over here. We got the acacia biome right over there, or part of the acacia biome. So we can definitely expand that way, and I don't think we will uh, interfere with King James's too much. Um, you might want to straighten out all these little skyways we built as well. Or we could just not live here at all and, I don't know, live over there. Someplace slightly less dangerous. But we still want to be close to these guys. You know, so we can, if nothing else, so we can trade with the villagers. I mean, Jet Silver's already gone to all the trouble of making the villagers. So, yeah. Um... But, you know... Building a normal house instead of living in a this might be an eventual goal. I don't know. It's a lot of work. A lot of unnecessary work that I didn't really want to do. But the gods of Minecraft have decided <coughs> Oh no, idiot. You have to start all over. Definitely extend this. This this could definitely be worked on. I mean, there's advantages and disadvantages to building this high up. Disadvantage. The main disadvantage is this thing is right underneath us, <laughs> right above us. So. So unless we uh, light the frick out of that, we can't really build anything up there. Plus, there's now this elevator thing that uh, somebody built. I mean, cool, you built a bubble vader, dude, but it only goes one way. So right now we're just going to light the frick out of this so no more things then we're going to flatten this then we could build just build a house we could just build a house right up here i mean i don't know i don't really have a game plan yet i'm open to suggestions So if you have any suggestions of what you want to see me do next with Shovelco 2.0, let me know. Oh, let's just freaking get rid of this thing. Oh yeah, that's just death on a stick. Hi, cow. Oh, do I want these mushroom mushrooms? I don't not want these mushrooms. So we've got to just say, but yeah, I mean, I already built it. There's no reason to get rid of it. If it makes everybody else's life slightly easier, I hope.
So that's basically our life right now, running back and forth, transferring Shovel Co. to its new location. Am I sorry to see the old site go? Eh, it was the best looking castle I've ever built. But, you know, what's the point if I can't share it with other people? You know, the whole reason to be on a shared server is to either do group projects or, uh, you know, I build something cool and then DM James or Mar Hawkman or Jet Silver or the other guy comes on and goes, oh my god, that's so cool, let me show it in my video, and then, you know, we share and stuff. Yeah. The only reason why I built it this far away is I didn't want to, you know, really bother anybody while I was com constructing. Constructing? That's a word. Definitely is a word. Cannot cut down wood with a mushroom. Let's just hoover up all this. Wow, why do I have so many bloody doors? Is it getting dark again? It is getting dark again. I've got a lot of materials I don't really need. Who put this here? I uh, can't forget all that stuff. Uh, oh, my beautiful. to take, come back and get this or try and rem remember where I found it. Well, I mean, might as well fix it, right? As long as I'm here. See, it does work better if you go backwards. You can't really see where you're going, which is maybe a bad thing, maybe a good thing. I don't know. What do you think?
getting dark. Here's that bridge that Marhakma made, and then I made a better version of. That works better, right? You can definitely prove this. But for now, I think it's pretty good. Bring some chests with me. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I brought a sign with me. Nope, that's not a sign. That's a chest. Cobblestone. Can I fill an entire thing with cobblestone? I think I can. <laughs> Ooh. Another piece of black rock. Why do I have so many doors? Where did they come from? <laughs> Why do I have so much dirt? I could probably fill an entire chest with dirt. There's an achievement I never thought I wanted.
Oh, look. Copper. This is a building block. So is this. Gems. Okay, coal technically is not a gem, but we're going to store it with the gems. And amethyst shards are a building block. They just use up on my chest. Dirt is definitely a building block. Redstone is a gem for now. Put food over here. Obviously, this all needs to be redone. Put our weapon stand, our armor stands by the door, I guess. Oop. 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 <laughs> That's cool. And put the third one by this door? Sure. All right, more of the same. This room will eventually be, I guess, become our workroom. We're going to extend this and flatten up that. All right, so we got some goals. So much dirt. We 
could also flatten this out. That's a good use for all these useless materials we're carrying. Uh, I don't know what to do with this stuff. That looks a little better. Look, physics, what's that? <laughs> Yeah, that looks a little nicer. Okay, I'm sure you're probably bored of this by now. So uh, let's call it here and just assume that I'm going to be doing more of the same after we get back to normal work. Uh, so that's it for today in Minecraft, starting all over from scratch. But from defeat comes victory or something, words of encouragement uh, that sound motivational you, you know what i'm trying to say right uh, from this failure we will re-emerge stronger than ever shovel co is not done for even now our plans for shovel domination are still working perfectly we will not allow this setback to ruin the fine reputation of shovel co Today, shovels. Tomorrow, the world. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for today. If you appreciate the nonsense coming out of my mouth, let me know. If you have any ideas of what you want to see me do next in Minecraft, let me know. If you haven't subscribed yet, now's a great time to subscribe. Help me hit a thousand subs in time for the holidays. I will talk to you later. See ya.